Hello there and welcome to Nelson Sim Racing. Today we're going to be reviewing the Moser Racing HGP shifter. We're going to be doing an unboxing, showing you what comes in with it. Talk a little bit about installation, setup, calibration, and then give you a few thoughts on what we think about it. So stick around. Okay, so here we can see the packaging, HGP shifter, it's a good looking piece of kit, nice box, seven gears plus reverse, made of aluminum, it's realistic feeling, it's an H pattern as we know, and a replaceable knob, which is a nice feature. Looking inside the box, what we have here is our very, very useful manual with features list and we'll give that its due consideration and move on to more exciting things like balls. That's our replaceable shifter knob, obviously. Now we've got a couple of cables. So in here we've got our RJ11 cable and our USB cable. The RJ11 cable is used to connect to the uh, the connector box, I forget what they call it, but uh, it's like a hub for all the Moser components. Uh, and then if you don't want to use that, then there's the USB direct to computer, um, typical USB A to USB B, I think it's called. There's that RJ11 again. Moving on bag of bits hopefully there's oh there is look at that another allen key thank the maker because i thought we were going to run out bolts and spanners as well terrific need to get those are nicely arranged because that matters what's inside oh there's a gear shifter All wrapped in plastic, nothing else in the box. Let's get that all packed up. This is vital part of the review, in case you were wondering. All right, you can't take that out one-handed um, without the magic of editing. So we're gonna give that a try now. Pretty fancy, huh? There we have it. Seven gears and reverse in a classic format. Just showing the mounting bolts there. And there's our two connections. One to the hub and one to the uh, USB connection. Which is probably also a hub, but you know. That's the right way around. And you get a little look at the Moser logo there. Alright, in our bag of goodies we've got four mounting bolts with Loctite and a replacement sheath for the uh, shifter and then we've got these uh, neat little features so those are little rubber pads um, and they stick to the edge of the edge gate it's optional but effectively what it does is it just deadens the sound of the shift a little bit uh, we're just showing the mounting pattern here for my uh, gear, sh gear shift mount. Yours, your mileage may vary. And this obviously is uh, my first attempt at gear shifting. The push down for reverse and seven is pretty exact. It's you've got to start the push down before you start the shift, or you're going to miss it. But the rest of the gears. You can see the uh, the gate is keyed a little bit to stop you, for instance, jumping from third to sixth, and so on. Then uh, in the Moser Pits House software, you can see that it's basically one click activation once you've connected it to the USB. It takes a couple of seconds, and you're done. Just uh, always worth a quick check to see if uh, you need software updates. But if you don't, you can just move on 
and then you can uh, start pressing buttons willy nilly. And this is just to show how it registers the uh, gear shifting. Again, it's all pretty crisp and clear. Passes through neutral as you would expect. And again, there's those reverse and seventh gear engagements. So, here's a tip for you. If you click the calibration button, do some calibration. Because if you don't, this is what's going to happen. We're in Assetto Corsa uh, content manager at the moment and we're trying to bind our uh, shifter. And second gear wouldn't bind. Third gear bound, but there's a big gap between first and third in button number. Fourth gear wouldn't bind. Fifth gear tried to bind the same number as third gear. So I'm panicking now. I think I've broken it. Testing inside the Moser pit house. It's going into reverse when I'm pushing it into first. Seventh when I'm going into third. It's basically all over the place. So I'm thinking I've broken it somehow. Try the old reboot. See if that solves it. It does not. Then, of course, eventually it comes round and I start to remember, oh yeah. I stupidly pressed the calibration button. What does it actually do? Well, there you go. It tells you. Hit the calibration button within 10 seconds. Move from full reverse to full seventh uh, along the neutral line to perform the calibration. That's all you've got to do. You wait till the end of the calibration period is done. And then you test it. Oh, look at that. It works. Now you can bind your buttons properly pretty simple if you actually read things I'm not saying it's in the manual I don't know I still haven't read that but the pit house software was good enough to tell you if you just click on the information link so definitely something to think about but you won't fall into that trap now because uh, you're gonna learn from my idiotic mistakes And finally, we'll bind that reverse gear. And that's it. So we've got the gear stick installed and set up. Including our calibration that we panicked on and did wrong. Um, what better way to try it now than on Targa Floria uh, and a Mark II Jaguar in British Racing Green. It's a car my dad used to own. So, it's got a nice, satisfying thunk to it. Alright, so I've really got to get used to uh, right foot braking, because that's a kind of a new thing for me, or at least it's been 15 years since I did it. Keep trying to brake in my left foot, which is of course the clutch. Possibly got too much traffic here for it. That blip there is not coming from me. So 
So that's part of the Moser software. If you have Moser pedals and the Moser gear, Can say, got some getting used to. Oh my god, well, I'm doing better than them. So, some conclusions. Um, it's a gear stick. It feels like a gear stick. It does what it says on the tin. It's got seven gears and a reverse. So all that's good. Does it make you faster? Not yet. Is it going to take a long time to learn? Yes. Does it do what you want? Yes. It feels good. Um, there's good gear engagement. The blip works. It's tunable. Again, steep learning curve before I can really enjoy it. Um, but I think in casual driving, at the very least right now, I'm going to be able to get used to it. As soon as there's a bit of pressure applied, I'm going to forget all uh, that I've learnt, um, and it's going to go to pieces. But that's muscle memory. So you've got to build that up. So that's where I'm going to go with the casual, Targa Floria, LA Canyons, things like that. Free roaming, driving lots of gear changes. Try and get used to it. A word on the clutch pedal for the uh, Moser Racing CRP. It's the first time I've really used it. It has a satisfying two-stage engagement when you're just sitting here pumping the pedal like I'm doing now that you can't see. However, when you're shifting in anger, you don't really feel it. Maybe that's a good thing because you don't want to be consciously aware of how it works. Yeah, it works. The gear shift works. The auto blip works. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It was nice and easy to fit. It seems reliable so far with my 10 seconds of experience. And I'm going to try and get better with it. So if you enjoyed the review, please think about subscribing. Hit that uh, like button. There'll be more reviews of more equipment coming up. There's lots of races. I race in Assetto Corsa, occasionally Wreckfest possibly even some ACC. So stick around and enjoy the content. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.